Howdy doody, Scooby Dooby. Hey, check him out. It is Mr. Dead End, and I'm Mr. Botbender, and this is an unboxing and reaction. What is up, folks? Hope you are doing fantastico. And so, yeah, fresh unboxing, totally unscripted. Taking a look at, um, he has the arm. Yeah, he's the arm, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, he has the arm. Yeah, so almost we have him complete now. We have Drag Strip, we have Dead End, we have leg guy dude i forget all of their names um it looks pretty good nice visor this leg part looks a little bit weird but um i mean i guess we we could take a look at that when, he, when we um pop them open but um what is this supposed to be is this supposed to be minnesota's horns i guess so when i looked at it it looked at like some um, briefcase from like stark industries or something like that like stuff is all coming out like nanotech but that's pretty cool transforms to that yeah and the beautiful beautiful artwork that i'm a huge fan of i hope they um sell this stuff um at some point that'd be really nice to have cool look at our guy over here all ninja snow faced out nice orange face getting blurry i dig it um yeah yeah and per usual just like all the other ones no uh, plastic, no nothing, whatever. And um, yeah, so let's open them up as it gets really dark right there. I'm pretty excited about, um, you know, completing the Menasaur set. But at the same time, you know, I play with the Motormaster so frequently, you know, for bot bending stuff. So I'm just like, I mean, what to do? Because once he forms Menasaur, <laughs> like, what am, what am I going to do? Like, do I just buy another motor master? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Instructions. White paper. And uh, accessories. And they all come in this, these little tissue paper thing now. So that's cool. Cost cutting. And, um, you know, environmental friendly stuff. For the wind. Um, for the wind. And here he goes. Here he goes, yeah. By the way, you know what he has in common with the Pink Panther? Y'all know who the Pink Panther is? Anyway, what he has in common is his name is Dead End. Dead End, Dead End, Dead End, Dead End, Dead End, Dead End, Dead End. Don't, don't unsub, wait, don't leave. <laughs> um, cool, yeah, I mean, it's typical packaging. Same old stuff. It's interesting to see how the packaging evolves um, as they try to uh, cut costs and operating expenses. For the sake of higher profits, let us release him. Release me. Remember that? It was from ID4. They had the alien all in like Area 51 or whatever. And he was like, release me. They were like, what? Will Smith was like, now that's what I call a close encounter. Well, he didn't say as dorky as I just did. Or <laughs> well, that was what I call a close encounter. Um. Excuse me. All right, here's our guy over here. And he feels nice and gummy. <laughs> As the nylon plastic does. I don't know why that's so funny to me. He's nice and gummy. Um, paint apps are good. Dude, why is he so blurry? Paint apps are good. Uh, molding is, yeah, I mean, more or less good enough. Like part, this is just weird. Like, yeah, I guess. I mean, no. <laughs> I almost, I almost just want like an upgrade kit that like sticks something here that just gives them like feet, <laughs> like proper shins and feet, because this just looks kind of funny. Um, but yeah, here's our guy. Here's our guy. And, um, yeah, he's all right. I mean, he's chill. So I'm assuming that he's just gonna, I mean, the car mode seems pretty straight forward. I, I hadn't intended on transforming him, but interesting. He has, um, a lot of different, like, um, ports down over here. Huh. Interesting. 
Hmm. So, let's see. Can I just... I thought it was just going to be, like, super intuitive, but... No, there's some stuff over here. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. But... It looks like this opens up, but I don't know exactly. I imagine this goes, this goes down, and this goes up here somehow. Does this just crack backward? No. I can see that there's like a hinge inside there, but I'm not exactly sure. That hinge is four. But maybe this comes... Oh, okay, that's what that hinge is for. And does his head... So his head was like this. Okay, so his head goes all the way back in there. And I think this closes down. And that just goes all the way up. Perhaps this spins around. Yeah, that spins around. So there's some elements that feel like drag strip, actually. Um, especially right there with the arms. The forearms in particular. Um, yeah, interesting transformation. That part especially. I gotta get everything to kind of sit right, though. How come this arm is not... I can do that. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, did I do something wrong? I think this is right, but for some reason this feels like it has to like go in because the like this. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can just rock. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's pretty intuitive. I don't have Motor Master with me. So I can't um, try the fitting. But I imagine it's going to be the same gimmick. There's that little tab that you press in there. And it's going to release all of this. And so this just collapses like so. Yeah, he definitely feels um, like he's related to drag strip. Well, some something fell out here. And it makes sense because they're both arms, right? Um, <laughs> sorry, I didn't even like say anything. <laughs> I should have been like talking as we went through the tutorial or the transformation, but I just got kind of caught up. But whatever. He's pretty easy to transform, and I gotta get that. Hmm. I wonder if I have to tab that in in a in a sequence. It looks like it's just that middle tab, but maybe I gotta do it first before they're all in there. Like, I gotta slide it up or something. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I had it. Thought we were friends, man. Dude, super fat fingering it right now. All right. That's in. There. Wait. Well, it's kind of in there. <laughs> it, it like is and it isn't. <laughs> I 
Like, I feel like it should click more while it's just kind of like b bending. No? I guess that's right. Whoops. Hold on. All right. So we collapse everything in with one another and the leg bit kind of popped out again but anyway that's the car and then what's going to happen is once that bit clicks in there it is going to well i thought it was just going to release the, the let's say the regs the legs Am I gonna break it? No. Okay, same thing as um, drag strip. I wonder if you could swap them. I don't have them with me. Yeah, and I can't tell, but I feel like they're not the same size. Yeah, but this bit, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, I can't like it just. I don't know. I feel like I have everything uh, together. I, I put a fair amount of force in there, but. Okay, whatever. When it plugs in on the arm, it's gonna plug in on the arm and it's just gonna be fastened, but that's it. So cool, neat. And uh, we had a little guns in here. I'm not really gonna take it out. But yeah, this was dead end, 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 dead end. So now I have three of the four limbs, so I'm gonna pop them on uh, tonight, check them out, and um, maybe I'll do tryouts to see who can uh, stand in for the missing leg piece for now, right? Cool. You can do those magician tricks. So it's like, whoa. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.